Hello, my dear students. Here we are again. Today, inshallah, I'm gonna illustrate much more about numbers and how is everything is going on on numbers. So right over there, I'm just talking about the numbers which are greater than 99. I mean, the numbers come directly after 99. So I'm gonna use the number line like this. Okay, here we here we are. We have number line. So we got here 99 after 900, 99, you will find um, 100, 100. So it's obviously clear that 100, 100 is the smallest number, is the smallest number, which consists of three digits, three digits. And I'm going to illustrate much more about it. If you get here just like 100, 100. So uh, to be able to understand the, the number and how does it work. So you have to to rethink about the place value of each number which are, which are in front of you right now. So the first number here, um, the place value of this number is once. What about the next it will be tens and the last one it will be hundred hundred and you might be thinking of that if we have here three ones three ones it's going to be three so you don't have to add anything just you have to rewrite rewrite it again so it will be three ones equal to three what about three tens if we get here three tens three tens it's going to be 30 so you have to to add just one zero in the right of the number what about if we have here 300 300 we got here 300 so it's going to be three and you have to write down double zero so it will be 300 i mean uh let's move to another example if we get here 349 349 and 49 and here here we have uh Right over there, 349, he, and he asks you what about the place value of each number, place value of each number of you. So let me define the place value. It just helps you, it just helps you to identify about the, the name of the digit of every number. So if we get here 9, so it, you can just break down this number to be just 349. So you, you I think you got the we got here nine ones, nine ones, and four tens, four tens, and three hundred. What I have done right over there, I'm just trying to try to break down the this number into digits, just like we we got here nine ones, four tens, and three hundred. And maybe, maybe it's going to be the opposite. If we get the opposite, we have here three hundred, three hundred. Seven tens and one ones. What I wanted from you right over there, trying to pause the video. I'm trying to do it by yourself, and you will find it just like, um, just like, like this. So we get three main digits. The first digit is going to be ones. The second one it will be tens, and the last one it's going to be hundred, hundred. How many hundred that we have right over there? We get three hundred. So you have to write down just a three in the hundred place. What about tens? We get seven tens, so it will be seven tens and one ones. If you are trying to combine these numbers together, so you will get 371. So let me tell you much more about it. If we get another example, like 300, 300 and seven, 307 ones. And by the way, um, I think you have noted that we don't have tens place. We don't have tens right over there. So. What I'm gonna do right over there, I'm gonna try to, to write every digit alone, every number alone. I mean, so we get here ones, tens, hundred. You might be asking yourself, we don't have we don't have tens, mister. Yeah, I know that we don't have tens, but and instead of leaving it, you have to put zero because we, we have a missing here. We have a missing. So uh, you have to put zero in the missing digits. So how many hundred that we have right over there? We get three, so you have to write down three hundred and seven. That's all. So let me give you a couple more example. So what about two hundred, two hundred, uh, and 
um, three ones, three ones, and seven tens. I think you will find it just a little bit tricky. He, he, he's trying to manipulate with you, to try, try to, to make it just a little bit difficult. Because he, you know, that he, you have to rearrange these digits, which are in front of you, to be able to write it correctly. So we get here once, this it will be the first digit, after that tens. And the last one will be hundred. And right over there, I'm going to ask you how many hundred that we have right here. So we get 200, 200. And you have to remember that we have seven tens, seven tens. So it will be right over there, seven and three. And this is called the standard form. So let me tell you much more about this. If you're trying to, if you're trying to, uh, to write down the number in expanded form, expanded form, it means that we have here 253. What I want to do, I'm trying to break the number, to break the number. I mean, you, you, you get 253, this, this number, which is in front of you, right over there, just consists of three digits. So the first digit, it will be three, but three and ones. So you don't have to add anything. You have to remember that if you have three ones, it means three. Seven ones, it means seven. Nine ones, it means nine. We got five tenths. Five tenths, it means that it's going to be 50. 50. So you have to add zero. And if you find out that the number in just tenths place, what about two in the hundred? So it would be 200. This uh, formula, which is in front of you right, right over there, we can call it as expanded form. Let me tell you much more about it. If we get here 419, 419. So I encourage you to pause the video and try to do it by yourself. We get here 419. We get here nine ones, nine ones. So it would be nine and you don't have to add anything, just nine. What about one tenth, one tenth? You have to remember that every time you get just any number in one and ten, so you have to add zero. So it's going to be 10. One chance, it will be 10. What about the last one? It will be 400. So it's going to be 400. 400. So uh, let's move to another point. If we get here, it's the, the opposite. I mean, he, he tells you the expanded form and he asks you, he asks you to write it in a standard, in a standard form. So... Uh, we get here 300 plus 40 plus 9. So what I'm going to do right over there, I'm trying to combine these numbers together. So it's going to be 349. What if we have another thing like 207? 207. By the way, we don't have tens. We don't have tens. I think you have noted that immediately from the first time we don't have tens. So instead of leaving it, so you can write zero in the tens place because I think you've noted that we don't have tens. What about if we get here another thing like seven plus one hundred plus fifty? Um, I think it's going to be. Um, you you can just try to write all the these digits to help you to remember the formation of the number the first one will be once then the next one will be tens and the last one is going to be hundred so we get here 100 so you have to write over there one what about tens we get five tens five tens so i'm gonna write over there five what about the last one is going to be seven ones we get seven ones Okay, let's move to another point. If he asks you what about the place value, the place value of this number. So you, you, you are trying to tell him about the name of the digits. So if, if, if he circles the first digit, so he asks you about the name of the first, so it's going to be once. So immediately you have to tell him it's going to be once. What about if we have here 489 and all of a sudden he, he, he bought a circle on the second on the second digit. So it's going to be tens. What about the last one? If we get here 500, 500. So let me color it with the same color. It's going to be white. With the white, I'm going to use a white color. 718. So... Um, I'm gonna put a circle right over there. So he, he, he wants from you to tell him about the last one, it's going to be 100, 100, 100. 
we have finished and see you in the next video inshallah bye bye